Today we're going to try AMC Theater's new popcorn in the grocery store, I should say. Walmart right now, this is where it's at. $3.98 for a bag like this. I got the extra butter version. They have a classic and a lightly salted or lightly buttered um, version. Now they're also supposed to be selling poppable bags like microwave bags. I haven't found those and I think this is the more interesting form to be honest is the already popped popcorn. Um, which interestingly enough has instructions on the back. I've never seen this before but they want you to actually heat this popcorn up. It's not supposed to be eaten that straight out of the bag but also says you know warning hey do not heat in this bag. Remove desired amount of popcorn. Place in a microwave safe bowl and microwave on high for 20 to 30 seconds. Start with 20 seconds blah 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 ensure popcorn is cool to safe temperatures and enjoy. So we got the whole blurb back here. It's supposed to be enjoyed hot, which is how we're going to do it because that's how they want us to do it. So I'll throw it in the microwave in a second. Important note is the price, $3.98 for this bag of five ounces of popcorn. I think the regular one was like six ounces, so you get like an extra ounce if you don't get the extra butter. Um, but that's very, you know, that's very expensive for already popped popcorn. I mean, you can buy bags of already popped pop popcorn this size for like a dollar. Um, and they're not terrible. Uh, they're okay. So this really, if this does taste, if this does manage to capture the taste of actual like AMC popcorn from a theater with extra butter on it, then I will say it is worth it. But that's for the taste buds to judge, which is where I'm going to go in a second. First, I wanted to say if you read the title of this video and it says this channel update on it. So if you're here for just a popcorn review, then um, I'm going to do that first. Um, and if you you actually want to see the channel update, it's going to be at the end of the video. I'll probably timestamp it, but I don't want to waste anybody's time who's here for the popcorn video. So we're going to hit this up first and tack that on at the end. So I'll be back forth with, I guess, I don't know if that's the right word to use here. I'll be back with some heated up popcorn. Okay, here's the AMC popcorn out of the microwave. I will say I had to give it about 35 seconds. My microwave is an 1100 watt. Um, just to make sure it was all the way warm, there were still some, you know, not cold spots, but not not warm spots, and you want it to all be uniquely warm. So here it is. You know, for something called extra butter, I'm going to say it doesn't look, I mean, it does have a decent amount of buttered pieces, but I wouldn't call that extra butter. Um, it looks actually more buttered on the screen when I'm looking at it. In real life, it looks less buttered. On the screen, it looks more buttered. Um, so that's just a, a play of the light, but... It does seem like it could maybe use a little bit more butter, but let me taste it before I start complaining. Um, I'm just gonna go raw and eat the popcorn as it is. Um, but I do have some other things that I can add to it if I'm not uh, too much of a fan. But let's just go ahead and eat it as it is, and I'll let you know. Ah. Uh, quick update here. I'm actually filming this after I'm done with the review because I forgot, but I'm putting it here so it makes sense. Um, the things I'm talking about that are on the side are this, Orville Redenbacher's uh, topping, 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 uh, liquid buttery stuff. This stuff is good at imitating the kind of AMC theater butter liquid. And um, this, the uh, nacho cheddar version of, what is this called? Colonel Seasons. The, they have a bunch of different flavors. They're all around. You've probably seen them before. But I actually I really like the nacho cheddar one um, because I'm that kind of guy. And I used to, uh, me and my family used to buy um, cheap macaroni and cheese boxes and we would take the cheese packets out of them and toss the noodles and use the cheese packets to put on uh, popcorn, which is probably horrible um, in multiple ways and definitely not a good in terms of food waste, but that's how we used to do it on a budget. Nowadays, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for this shaker topping, but if you really want to, it's, it's secretly like kind of good. So if, if you're really interested, you can definitely do that. Just buy some craft, like you can buy a five pack of craft. You can even get the cheaper ones, but you should really go for the craft, like the craft dinner. Buy a, buy a package of those. Just just take the just take the cheese out and shake it on your popcorn. That's that's it. Okay. Now back to the actual review. Well, I've eaten qu uh, quite a bit of it. It may not look like it, but I, I this bowl, you know, it's deceptive in its shape. I ate quite a bit of it. Um, maybe more than I should have. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have microwave this much. And it's definitely, the, here's the down, the, you know, the straight up information. It is not the same as going to an AMC theater and getting their popcorn. 100%. It, it is not the same popcorn. I mean, it could be the same popcorn. We'll get into it. Um, but it does not taste the same as coming from an AMC theater. I really think that 
they got relatively close. They they did a, a decent job, but there's something about the popcorn actually being, you know, freshly popped and the way that they pop it at the theater themselves, like the, the method they use with the boil over like kettle and stuff or, you know, I don't really know how it works. I don't think it's that complicated. Um, but there's something about the process of the popcorn machines making the popcorn and then the people putting butter on it, liquid butter, fresh, um, at the theater that really makes a difference. And while this is, I would say, a, a somewhat decent imitation, it is not, it is not the same thing. Um, it's in fact, I, I would say it's maybe a notch above the usual, like, popcorn that already popped that I would get. But I don't think it's worth the price difference. I mean, I can get a bag this size, and I have before many times, just at like Dollar Tree or any grocery store for like a dollar or like a dollar fifty, um, just a bag of popcorn, which is not too far off from this. If that bag of popcorn is average, I'd say this is a notch above average. Um, but for three ninety eight, I was really hoping for more. Um, I mean, really, that's. You could say, I think you could say fairly like three times the price of what it should be if it was just popcorn or at least double um, what you would probably expect to pay for just a bag of already popped popcorn. And it's relying on the name, AMC Theaters, of course. And while I do think it is, like I said, technically a notch above, it's got good taste. It's not stale. It's got decent freshness. Um, I, it is not as buttery as it should be. I mean, for extra butter, I was really... A bit disappointed on that front, but it has a good saltiness. Um, not too salty, but it builds up as you eat. So it's it's maybe it, I'll, I'll I'll be fair to them and say it's maybe the best version of already popped popcorn in a bag that I've ever had. Um, but that's not a high bar. It, I mean, already popped popcorn in a bag is not generally that great, anyways. You want to either pop your own or buy bags. Now I'm a big proponent of the microwave bags because I'm lazy. Um, but popping it on the stove is generally a better idea depending on, you know, how fancy you are or getting a popcorn machine of your own. That's a good way to go. Um, but if you're resorting to this because you're lazy like me and you're getting popcorn in a bag, this is probably on the high end, I suppose, of popcorns in a bag, but it's just not worth $3.98 a bag. It just doesn't make sense. And it is not the same popcorn, um, or at least as I say, it's not the same process because... It says on the back, this is distributed by American Multi Cinema Inc. So that's AMC, Liquid, uh, Kansas. So it is probably the same source. You know, they probably do pop this and bag it in the same factory, maybe, or in the same area, or using the same kernels as AMC theaters do. But it does not live up to the fresh standards of, you know, movie theater popcorn. It just, it just lacks that, and there's no... I guess there's probably not an artificial way to really reach that, but I hope maybe food scientists get there one day to where you can imitate the actual taste of fresh pop popcorn with fresh butter on it, um, but they're just not there, so <sighs> it leaves me in a weird spot. I'll, I'll, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I, I like the idea. I like the concept, and I do think it's good. I just think it's a little bit overpriced for what it is. And I think the heat and eat is a nice concept. I never even thought of doing that, even though it seems very obvious. I've never done that with pre-pop popcorn before, but I don't see why I shouldn't just do that with all the popcorn I get from now on, because it does, you know, make it a little better. So you did a good job, AMC, but not quite the job I was hoping for. And when you say extra butter, please put extra butter on it. Just like sometimes at the theater when you say extra butter and they really don't put extra butter on it and you're kind of pissed, but you don't bring it up. That's, that's kind of what I'm feeling, like I'm mildly a little annoyed, even though I know, you know, I'm going to enjoy it, and I do enjoy it, so that's the AMC Theater Popcorn. Um, if you want to stick around for the channel update, that'll be uh, coming up right now, otherwise I'm done. So if you're somebody who wants to know what's going on with the channel and is not just here for the review of the popcorn, uh, let me cut and then I'll get back to you. Okay, everybody who's sticking around for the channel update, I'll make it nice and quick. Uh, maybe a little bit disappointing, but um, essentially all I'm trying to do with this channel update is inform people that the schedule, you know, I've been trying to follow schedule. I did five days a week for a while. I switched to three days a week a couple months ago. That's fine, um, but I, I already know I'm not going to be able to adhere to it probably this week, and um, I'm going to have a very busy next few weeks, and I'll explain why. So 
there is a chance that I won't hit Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and by there's a chance it's for sure not going to happen. Um, so basically, I just kind of want to give myself maneuvering room. So I'm going to say there is no schedule, but I will try to update as much as I can. And when new fast foods and stuff come out, I will do that. And I'll try to review everything that I can get my hands on, like this AMC Theater's popcorn. Um, but I don't want to adhere to a strict schedule. There might be a chance I might go, you know, three or four days without uploading a video. And then I upload two or three, you know, in quick succession. That's just the way it's going to have to be from now on because I have another major focus in my life, which is that I need to move soon. Um, my lease will be up soon. Um, so I'm going to have to move and you know how rent prices are right now. So the point is, I'm, I'm this is going to be like side hustle summer, um, basically. Uh, I'm going to be trying to sell, sell, sell stuff um, on eBay, which is my major kind of thing I've been doing lately uh, to make money. Um, so I'm going to invest more time into that. Um, I always put eBay links below the video though if you want to buy something, but don't don't feel like you need to. But if, I, if anybody's curious, and I know a lot of people have asked, um, I'll show you a little bit around um, like all this stuff behind me. I'll give you a little quick look so you can see what I'm doing. But I mean, that's essentially what's going to be the bottom line is that I'm going to try to spend more time doing this because I want to build up you know some money so I can afford to move. Um, you know, afford the first and last and security deposits and moving trucks and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on, but I will still be posting as much as possible, just not necessarily following the schedule. So I'll pause this and then I'll give you a quick look. If you're one of those people who's very interested, um, cause I know there are a couple people that are, I'll give you a quick look around the, uh, reselling zone. Um, because I guess people really like watching that, which I shouldn't be surprised because I watch reselling YouTube all the time. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here's our uh, first glimpse. Here's the table. Here's where I usually sit to do all my reviews. But here's what's behind me. A bunch of stuff I bought um, at yard sales and thrift stores and stuff um, that I'm trying to sell. And here's the corner of just stuff um, that's already listed that I want to sell. I should probably just discount. Stuff I haven't listed is right here in that big box and stuff. Here's my little work zone where I filmed the AMC popcorn video, iPad where I check like references to stuff. And now we're going to get into the really bad zone, which is this closet right next to the uh, pile. This is <laughs> all my sort of DVDs and some games and CDs and stuff. They're, they're two layers deep of stuff that I need to focus on and list on ebay these are not listed none of this stuff is and otherwise i have a bunch of boxing supplies ebay stuff to ship stuff out um but it's pretty packed so that's the closet of shame everybody enjoy that we'll swing by the, the clock here i got some more dvds right here to sell then of course here's what you're usually seeing in the background multiple plastic bins full of stuff um, all kinds of stuff, everything you can really think of, board games, plushes, blah, 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 clothes. Um, clothes aren't really for me. I have a few clothes on my eBay store. Um, they are mostly my father's clothes. He sells stuff on Poshmark, a bunch of stuff. So it takes up a lot of space in here. And this is kind of our work zone right here. This is the old PC. Uh, let me click off of that real fast. The old PC zone with controllers and uh, that's that monitor's off right now, but it works. Where we pack stuff up, got some notebooks, the printer, scale, tape, supplies, all that good stuff. There's a mannequin head we just bought so we could put hats on it in pictures because I have a bunch of hats that have terrible pictures on them. Um, so we'll start using uh, Jake here to model our hats and then we've got boots and all that good stuff. Just stuff everywhere, clothes everywhere. And uh, there's the TV if you wanna watch TV. But there's just, you know, stuff everywhere. And basically I want to get through all of this stuff and list it and sell it on eBay so that moving both I'll have more money and I'll have less stuff to move. That's the hope. So over the next two months, I'm really just gonna try to aggressively, you know, tackle all this stuff and uh, make it work a little better. So that's, that's pretty much it. So if, for anybody that's interested in that stuff, here's a, here's a nice overview for you. Here's a nice chair, uh, the trash can. There's just stuff everywhere. 
boxes, packing material, blah, blah, blah. It's all over the place. So that's that for everybody that was curious. Um, there's your reseller's um, overview. Here's what I got. Here's what I got. So this is why I will be busy and maybe not posting as much as usual on the old uh, YouTube. But I'm still going to try and I'm still got things I want to try. And there's a new Firehouse sub coming out. Um, there's a new Sonic Burger I haven't tried yet that I'd like to get to. And uh, last thing is I do have, for anybody who's really curious, I have a little thing here, a little chair here. And this has some stuff that I got um, to try that I've never gotten around to. Like this three bean chili and roast beef with gravy and tomato, basil, barley beans, and a nice soup, albunagas uh, soup. So those are those are there on deck in case I need them. Um, but yeah, those are things I've bought and that I plan to review that I haven't gotten around to yet. So, yep, there you go. There's a nice view for everybody uh, who's curious. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.